Hey there, this is a contest entry into NReady's 500 subscriber contest. Um, essentially, I will leave a link to his channel down below as well as a link to the contest video. Um, go check it out, check him out. Um, and yeah, tell him I sent you. <laughs> Why not, right? Um, for his contest, he had requested uh, your, you know, the your top 10 um, horror films from between 2010 and 2015. So modern horror, like very modern. Um, now, honestly, to pick my like top 10 uh, is, is hard. There's a lot that I haven't seen yet that I know would probably make it. Um, a lot that I probably don't even know about that would probably make it and yes you don't include those but at the same time it's like I have a lot quite a few of them that are in gonna be you know essentially they're put aside for future 31 days of horror and I didn't watch them <laughs> this year so I could include them but I also wanted to do a little something different and I wanted to make sure I picked a group of films that met a whole bunch of criteria that I set out. So, um, what is that criteria? On top of being, you know, you know, top of the line horror films from the years 2010 to 2015, and 10 of them, um, I wanted uh, there to be at least one film from each of those years, 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Uh, I wanted one of those films to be a th a, to have been released in 3D. Not necessarily a good 3D film, but I want wanted one to have been released in 3D at some point, you know, some form, uh, simply because, you know, 3D, it's all the rage <laughs> for, you know, modern films. So it just seemed right to um, include at least one of those. Uh, I wanted to have a remake. Remakes sequels they're all the rage right now right so I wanted to have at least one remake in the, my list um, I wanted to have a wide release film a limited release film and a direct to video release uh, film so I had to pick you know something from all out of all my my ten at least one of them has to be one of those three uh, or well there has to be three films that meet those criteria essentially I wanted one to be a foreign film, so not just North American releases. Um, I wanted one to be an anthology film. It's a big thing in horror these days. Lots of them are anthology films, and lots of them are really good, so I wanted to have one of those. Um, I wanted to have a creature feature, something with some kind of a, of a monster of some sort. Um, I wanted to have a, some kind of a ghost story, because, you know, uh, ghost stories are... I think ever since the J-horror craze, they've really, you know, them and zombies have been kind of competing for, um, you know, the mainstays of, of horror. Um, I didn't want to pick a zombie film because there's so many of them. <laughs> it just would have been too easy. Um, I wanted a slasher. Uh, when it comes to direct-to-video, slasher seems to be a way to go, but they're not always very good. I wanted a film that would have fallen into um, the gory f category. Something that was, you know, uh, its horror is derived from the, the fact that it makes you cringe. Uh, I wanted something that was funny since horror comedy is a, you know, they go hand in hand. There's lots of horror comedies. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. And then finally, I wanted something that was scary. Can't have a horror list. <laughs> without having something that's scary, right? So, in no particular order, here are my choices. Um, Piranha 3D from 2010. You can imagine how many of those that checks off, right? How many of the, the, the lists on there? I picked um, The Divide from 2011, a film not many people have seen, but I think it's a great post-apocalyptic film. Um... And I think the performances within that film are just phenomenal. Um, it's not one of those films that you, you want to re-watch a lot, but at the same time, it, it definitely... I, honestly, I 
as soon as I saw that film and I got out of it, I was like, I gotta own that movie. Um, next up would be Antiviral from 2012. Yes, Cronenberg. Um, it's got, I, I honestly, I, I really love so much about Antiviral um, that I could go on and on and on. Um, it's yeah it's it's a very much it's it may be it may be young version but it's still very much uh, a Cronenberg type film um, from 2013 we've got The Conjuring uh, honestly I think that's probably one of the best wide release ghost stories um, maybe James Wan some people are disagreeing with that some people think Insidious is better but I think Con Con The Conjuring is in terms of structure and form and you know just plain working I think it is the the best of his wide you know the wide release films that he's done and uh, that's why I had to pick it and add it there um, next up would be The Town That Dreaded Sundown from 2014 when I saw that film I was just like wow okay talk about taking you know that slasher film that old slasher film and turning it on its head it's not really a remake it's not really a sequel. It's kind of both. It's, yeah, it's very smart. It's 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 a fun watch, um, and yeah, I just I just I really enjoyed it. Um, 2015. Well, 2015's a hard movie to a uh, year to pick movies from because well, you know I don't see as many <laughs> in theaters and such like that. So. Um, I had to go with probably my favorite film um, from the Toronto After Dark Film Festival that I could think of right at the time of making this video, and that is a Christmas horror story. Um, it's it's yeah. Well, you 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 watched the the video, right? You watched it, didn't you? Maybe you didn't. Um, next up is a film that a lot of people can't watch. They simply can't make it through, and after seeing it, if they see it, they never want to see it again. And that's a Serbian film from 2010. Um, it has got to be one of the most disturbing films I have ever seen. And that's one of the reasons why I put it on my list. Uh, it's hard to get films uh, these days where you, you it leaves a real lingering impression like that. Uh, next up from 2012, The Cabin in the Woods. It just does everything right. It does everything right, right? It's got the funny. It's got the class. It's got the throwbacks. It's got every all the little. It's it's just it's tight. It works for some reason. Uh, it, it, yeah, I love it. Uh, next up would be from 2014, ABCs of Death 2. Now, I love the idea of, you know, a whole bunch of short films all based around letters of the alphabet and a word from that, you know, that starting with that particular letter, making a short story, putting them all together and putting them out there. And I particularly enjoyed two more than I enjoyed one. So I went, I had to add, uh, I was going to be one of the two, and I went with the, um, the sequel. And finally, probably my favorite film on the list, from 2010, the killer tire movie, Rubber. Yes, Rubber ended up being my favorite film two years in a row, so to not include it, it doesn't make any sense. So... Yes, it, it and again, a lot of these films check off more than one box. You figure out which ones they they go into. Um, you can post it down below if you figure it out. Again, there was essentially twelve criteria I was trying to hit. Uh, on top of there being you know ten top ten horror films between 2010 and 2015. Now I do have a small group of um, uh, honorable mentions. Uh, that just didn't quite make it. I picked other ones because, you know, I just felt these other ones were better. Uh, so I'll go through these these honorable mentions uh, just in case you were wondering, why didn't I pick those? And here we are. Maniac, the 2012 remake with Elijah Wood. 
Another remake, Evil Dead from 2013. Um, getting some zombie action. Also came out in 3D. World War Z or Z. Technically has to be said Z. Just does. From 2013. Uh, next up, uh, one, a film that really creeped me out. Um, I think more because of the subject matter than anything, and that's Banshee Chapter from 2013. Um, next, the sequel to a film that had a great idea and concept and then gave us a standard home invasion film. We got the 2014 film, The Purge Anarchy. A very, very smart film from 2011 comes up next with The Woman. It's a number one on a lot of people's lists, but I didn't quite, you know, it didn't make mine. Um, next up again from 2011 is a ghost haunting film that I just, I don't know, there's something about it that I just, I really liked. And it had a really great poster, first run poster, and that's The Innkeepers. Um, also from 2011, 2011 seemed to be a pretty good year for me, um, is a film with a subject that I really, really love, and I love films from that, and that's Contagion. I love the idea of viruses and, you know, populations getting decimated by viruses. I don't know. I just do. Uh, another ghost story. Um, I don't even... I, yeah, this... I believe this one direct to video is from 2014, and that's Housebound. And finally, a film that, uh, you know, modern take on the cannibal old school cannibal movies and that's the green inferno 2013's the green inferno um some people don't like it i i think it's a great throwback without being uh overly uh disgusting and 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 such it it does enough to land it as a good homage to the old jar but at the same time it's still holds back enough so that it, ha it has enough, you know, like a wide enough appeal. Um, so yeah, that's that's my choices for for uh, NReady's 500 subscriber contest giveaway. Again, I'll run through them. Piranha 3D, The Divide, Antiviral, The Conjuring, The Town That Dreaded Sundown, A Christmas Horror Story, A Serbian Film, The Cabin in the Woods, ABCs of Death 2 and bum, 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 Rubber. So, if you don't know about any of these films, feel free to, you know, post down below and I'll, I'll give you as much detail as I can without, you know, writing up a huge thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you want to know if you should check them out, let me know what you're into and I can let you know <laughs> if it's something that you would like. Everybody likes different things. So there you go. Check out NReady's channel. Again, links down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Have a good one.